सो आई हैव अ क्विक क्वेश्चन फॉर यू डू यू नो वॉट्स कॉमन बिटवीन नेपस्टर बिट कॉइन बिट टॉरेंट लोस पोयोस अरमानोस वॉल्टर वाइट एंड जैसी पिंकमैन एंड द सलामांकास बिलीव इट और नॉट दे ऑल हैव अ वेरी कॉमन अंडरलाइंग स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज कॉल्ड पीयर टू पीयर नेटवर्किंग एंड जस्ट लाइक कैरेक्टर्स इन ब्रेकिंग बैड दीज कंपनीज हैव ऑल्सो ऑलवेज फिडल्ड विद द गवर्नमेंट फॉर लॉर्ड ऑफ डिफरेंट कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज एंड कंसर्न सो दिस सिस्टम आर्किटेक्चर टेक्निक is very popular powerful it has lot of advantages and also lot of controversies and malicious uh, disadvantages so today we will learn every single thing but with using the concepts of system design and the things happened in breaking bad so if you haven't seen breaking bad i would highly encourage you to go and watch that show it's amazing one of my favorite shows of all time chai 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 ja and uh, without any delay let's get started now first let's try to understand what peer to peer networks are for that we need to understand two terms first one is a client and second one is a server now we know that client is the one who is looking for some stuff and they can be anyone right there can be bunch of different clients and typically in most of the applications we have a common server or a set of centralized servers that are there to serve every single need any particular client can have and provide back with the request and response so logically you can think of it like this is a slower approach and on top of that every single client needs to reach to the server and in order to fetch the data or the item they are looking for or for the resources now let's jump back to our breaking bad world in the breaking bad uh, who do we have as server well we have uh, our very famous gus fring we have walter white or we can say uh, salamancas or don eladio okay these are all the servers we have that has the product but have you ever seen in the breaking bad that all of these parties are directly dealing with the clients no right because clients would maybe go to some other person in between and that other person might have the product coming out from some other person and that other person might be reaching out to some person like maybe Jesse Pinkman or Mike Ehrman Trout or someone like that and then they would be getting most of the product or the resources from these three main servers this is the whole concept of peer to peer networking where in the peer to peer networking system instead of server directly providing all the services to every single client actually there are different cluster of uh, servers or many different peers that act as a network and through any one of the person in that network can provide you the services now i know sounds complicated but let me show it to you with an example so this is our typical client server model we have where we have just one server and every single client will have to call the server in order to fetch the data but imagine a scenario where instead of having just one server you actually have a cluster of different service servers or service services uh, and any one of them can receive to the reach out to the centralized server to fetch a resource and also act as a server when client calls in so think of this scenario where currently we have this server so initially what would happen is that this server would dis would start distributing let's say product x so currently our file x resource x whatever in either case we have this x that needs to be shared amongst all of these different group of uh, consumers and we could have bunch of different more clients that are still waiting outside okay so traditional mechanism is is going to be very slow because everyone is reliant on the central server to do all the works this resource start sending out this uh, file number x to all of its sub clients or sub peers okay but at the same time once the peer has the, these files these other remaining peers does not have to rely on calling out the server or reaching to the server they can instead just reach out to their peers and start sharing these files amongst themselves and once they have these files they can also start sharing these files to among amongst themselves which makes the whole transaction very fast and very efficient how it becomes fast let's think of it with an example imagine that currently we maybe let's say we have 10 clients 
and all 10 clients needs to fetch some data from the server and we are thinking that for every transaction it takes one second so logically it should take 10 seconds for all the files to reach to all 10 different servers now think of a scenario for a peer-to-peer -peer network what would happen is that currently we have this server now during the very first second server would be able to send file to one server so now we currently have two different entities who both can act as a server because it's a peer-to-peer -peer network during the second second we would have this server reaching out to another client who now has a file same way this client also reaches out to another client who now has a file so now we have four different server during the third second all four all these four of them are going to be sending transaction to one more client so now we are going to have in total eight different clients who have received these files in the in three second span for the fourth second essentially you can think of it we are basically doing an exponential increase in with every single iteration exponential growth so for the fourth second it's going to be two to the four so it's going to be 16 people who logically should have received this file but overall in this traditional system it took us 10 seconds to provide all of these files to 10 different customers in the peer-to-peer -peer network it only took us four seconds to have this file or resource being shared to 16 different people that is the whole concept and whole power of peer-to-peer -peer networks that's why they are pretty fast and pretty efficient yes science same thing we can see and we can observe very clearly in the breaking bad universe that in the breaking bad universe if we take an example of gus fring so gus fring under his arm has uh their own chef or server maybe we can consider walter white or maybe we can consider gail badecker or maybe we can consider jesse pinkman okay these are all the servers who are creating or generating the product but then these products are being shipped to number one mike erman trout and victor after having after both of them receives the product they have their own bunch of different Los Poyos Hermanos trucks and through these trucks they send out the product to Nevada, Nebraska and all of the other different states where these products can now be shipped out. Amongst themselves they have a bunch of different more gringos uh, that takes this product to the street and sells out to the bunch of different consumers and now you can imagine that the entire four state region started receiving this product in bunch of different batches that has been clearly identified by one and only Hank Schrader from the DEA that and all of them are serving probably hundreds or thousands of customers in order to get this data. So they are also using the peer to peer networking concepts, but for something very illegal and very illicit product, uh, which is a great show to watch. So that this is the whole concept. Now let's start talking about all the different aspirations and conditions that we will have to think about for peer-to-peer -peer network. Number one thing for peer-to-peer -peer network we have is that it has a decentralized nature. And as we can see that how does a decentralized nature comes into the place where we don't have just one single server that is continuously talking with all of the different consumers or all of the different clients. We actually have cluster of bunch of different these servers who are now interconnected with each other and who are sharing files amongst each other and if new class, new cluster or new file comes into the place they can very easily join the existing cluster and basically have all the files that they can also now be ready to share the files with other uh, new potentially incoming request or consumers so this is number one thing second thing is data sharing is very fast I, we already explained with an example that how with every single iteration we are essentially going out exponentially and uh, as Walt suggested we are building the exponential growth. So these are the two main factors. Now let's see that what are the different advantages of this type of uh, structure. So number one advantage we can think of is that even if one node falls. So if someone gets caught by DEA or someone is no longer wants to be in the business or some node just crashes in the real computer world, they can very easily be replaced or even if they are not there, still the overall architecture or structure is going to run without any issues in most of the simpler manner. So even if some node goes offline or crashes or is no longer serving needs, no, not a big deal because things would work out. Also on top of it, if we have to add new nodes, it is very easy to get them connected with the existing network and now they can also act as a server and start for sharing files and data to each other. 
नेक्स्ट अनदर बिग एडवांटेज इज स्केलेबिलिटी बिकॉज यू कैन इमेजिन दैट अ सिंगल सर्वर इज गोइंग टू हैव लॉड ऑफ इश्यूज सर्विंग टू ऑल द बंच ऑफ डिफरेंट क्लाइंट्स एंड कंज्यूमर्स बट इफ वी हैव हंड्रेड्स और मे बी इवन थाउजेंड्स ऑफ दीज सर्वर्स जियोग्राफिकली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ऑल अक्रॉस वर्ल्ड एंड दे ऑल हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ फाइल्स दैट दे कैन गेट इट और इफ दे डोंट हैव इट दे कैन जस्ट गेट इट फ्रॉम द नियरेस्ट नोड इट बिकम्स वेरी इजीली स्केलेबल यू कैन सर्व मिलियंस ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट इन अ फेयरली चीपर एंड सिंपलर मैनर सो दीज टू आर वेरी पॉपुलर बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द पीयर टू पीयर नेटवर्क बट जस्ट बिकॉज देर आर बेनिफिट्स इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी ऑलवेज अ कन्वीनियंट सिनारियो टू यूज एंड देर आर लॉड ऑफ डिफरेंट डिसएडवांटेजेस एज वेल सो वॉट इज द वेरी फर्स्ट डिसएडवांटेज दैट वी कैन थिंक ऑफ वेल Typically, these networks or these cluster of networks, they tend to operate anonymously. And uh, mo- in most of the scenarios, these are not like company-owned, verified data centers or networks. They are individual computers who knowingly or unknowingly became part of this ongoing peer-to-peer network. So it could be possible that we might have some bad actor coming in with a decent amount of knowledge of the existing system, and then they can start. putting malware or having wrong devices on bunch of different uh, these kinds of things so that can be an issue or speaking in terms of breaking bad we might have some cop in- infiltrate this existing ongoing rig and started to finding some loopholes and uh, start arresting different people and then it becomes sort of an issue so essentially this is not a very safe and reliable mechanism on top of it the number 2 and biggest concern is that this is illegal in most of the parts apart from the scenario of bitcoin everything else i mentioned in terms of all the companies like bittorrent napster or all the salamancas and breaking bad characters they were all part of illegal illicit activities and why they were using it so if you not sure if you know or if you are too young enough you might not be aware of but there was a website called napster that was the original one who introduced this concept and napster was basi- basically sharing pirated music all across world it's rare to find someone from gen z who haven't downloaded songs illegally from napster but that was there a uh, long time back next thing is if we talk about bit torrent bit torrent took it way further and would you would find all sorts of softwares movies that w- that had just came in and you should be able to download it using bit torrent or mu torrent or pirate bay and they had their own servers and it used to operate on peer to peer network so this is a very big issue because it brings the issues with the copyright concerns it brings issues with the controversies related to software maybe someone can download a malicious malware into your system so these are are the scenarios that can happen with peer to peer network and the question is are you able to use this anywhere in your application or system design the answer is yes and where you can use it let's say for an example that you currently have a large enough corporation or company and you wants to share some internal data or document to every single available employee or peers now in this this scenario if that is the case if the file is large enough maybe something like 5 mb 10 mb or maybe something in gbs you might not wants to put the entire load on the existing uh, network or the main servers that your company has that are there to serve the external clients you don't want that jeopardizing because it's waste of resources in this scenario you can opt for peer to peer networking where because you know that all of these computers they are already controlled in an environment they all have some sort of security feature plus the file you are trying to share amongst all of these you have already vetted that file you know that that is for the good of the employees and that needs to be done in that scenario peer to peer network or peer to peer communication would be a good concept so this is what you can think about peer to peer networks we talked about the concepts we talked about the advantages and disadvantages how it works uh, what is the underlying scenarios what are the issues with that, this technology what has been the background and also what could be the potential use cases if you encounter this in your real life job or maybe some real life scenario this is a very fast paced mechanism it has lot of good benefits and also great set of advantage uh, disadvantages just like breaking bad it is a masterpiece but for all the wrong reasons you're goddamn right so hope you like this video let me know in the comments about how i did and uh, if you would like to see me more content like this uh, this was just an experiment with with the concepts of breaking bad so 
i hope you you enjoyed it uh till then take care see you